there's such a uh, reservoir of goodwill for you. I, you've been in the business such a long time, and uh, that was spontaneous. People just love you. You come out, they're very happy to see you. It makes me feel great, and, and, and I've, I've all, I, look, I've been lucky. I've been, I've been involved since a kid in something that I've always loved. I always knew I loved it. There was never any confusion about it, and, right. I, I, and I'm, I'm still really enjoying it, and of course, the energy that I get from, from, from people like this. It's funny, you talk about Starting as a little kid, we all, everyone, as you know, remembered you uh, initially uh, on uh, on Mayberry, right? You know, Andy Griffith on show, Andy right. Griffith show, right. and uh, and as just as a little kid, I also knew that you were. I think your career started in this studio on this stage 15. Didn't you shoot the Music Man here? Yes, I did. How yes, old I... were you when you shot when well, you did I, the Music Man? I, I had actually started the Andy Griffith Show, so it wasn't the very beginning, but it was sort of my first big high-profile feature, and I think they shot it in 1961. So I, I was, you know, I was seven, just turned seven. You were right here. You were right. Do you remember yeah. coming to this building? I, I remember coming to this lot, and we sh we shot on a few stages. But there's a plaque out there that I noticed on my way in. Yeah. It always makes me feel uh, feel good. Brings back a lot of memories. Yeah, it's uh, they have a they have a plaque outside that has the list of all of the great movies that have been shot here. And then it's funny you'll be looking at it and just incredible movies like yeah. classic movies that you're looking at, that you remember, and then there'll be a, always a couple in there where you're like, oh my God, right, that. Right. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Biodome 3 was shot here, you know. And now, uh, and now uh, Conan. Yes, now About Conan, that. yes. Yeah. Dragging it down into the dirt, <laughs> yeah. Do you remember, like, I think you also shot, do you remember any of the lines that you had? I had to sing, you know, and I think that I, in, re in retrospect, knowing what I now know, I think they thought it was adorable that I couldn't carry a tune. Right. Um, but, uh, you know, right here we shot uh, uh, the Wells Fargo wagon number was out here, you right, know. Right, right. Although the Wells Fargo wagon is a common round the street, oh, please let it be for me. <laughs> it could be something for someone who is no relation, but it could be something special <laughs> just for me. So that's a bring back a memory. That was great. <laughs> that's... That's, uh, that's fantastic. You know, I will it's never amazing. win an award and again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what's great is that you, your career was so successful, but if it hadn't been, you'd have been touring the country doing that song. <laughs> as, as, a, as, you know, the, the, the adult that you are now. Maybe so. I would have moved up to the Robert Preston part, you know, uh, Professor Harold, Harold Hill. You'd be a great professor. I've always Harold wanted Hill. to play Professor Howard Hill. You, you and know, just you, for the trouble song, I would just do the trouble song, you know and then I would... Trouble. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember that, uh, well, either you're closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you're not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Wow. You got trouble, my friend. Right here, I say, right here in River City, you got trouble. Yeah. And then you'd go off and running, awesome. and I would have a blast doing that part. I, I want that part. I, I want, want that part. Remake, remake. In fact, you, I've I- Gotta get off this death ship. Uh, <laughs> I want to see him. I want to see Conan. <laughs> I want to. I want to see Conan starring in movies. Don't you want to see him? Yeah. Starring in movies? Yeah. yeah. They're like. Oh. <laughs> they're like anything to get him out of here. Yeah. I think somebody at TBS is like, well, maybe we'll give him that chance. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is proof pos positive that you can induce people to lie their asses off because I don't think they'd pay to see you. <laughs> I think they meant it for that moment. I think they really meant right, it. Right, right. They believe. I'm going to cut that part out of the interview. <laughs> We're just going to use the top part.